Hi, Teresa Graham Brett here. So I'm going to tell you something about myself, and that's that when I became a parent, somehow I thought I could do it perfectly. I thought I could read enough books, I could get on enough websites, get enough advice, get enough coaching, that somehow I would be able to be a perfect parent. And that if I avoided all the things that my parents did, that somehow my children would have perfect lives. Guess what? There are times when I really suck as a parent. And there are times when I don't know what to do. And there are times when I do things that hurt the children in my life. And it hurts me to hurt them. I say things that are hurtful. I lose it. I don't have clarity at times. There are times when I'm angry and I yell. Um, and, there, and then after those times, I judge myself pretty harshly. I beat myself up. I say negative things to myself. I might say them out loud. I might want Martella Grayson to be responsible for forgiving me and making me feel better about being such a sucky parent. So the reality is we're human and we're going to make mistakes. And that's part of life. And part of our job is to continue to grow and learn as parents. And we will encounter new situations that we've never encountered before. Um, as our children grow, as we grow, as we learn, as we get new perspectives. And part of the process that we need to be in is to be able to look at those quote unquote mistakes, the things that we've done wrong, the ways in which we've hurt people and be able to accept that that's part of who we are. That's part of our whole being. We are both the good and the bad, the negative and the positive. We're the supportive, unconditional parent, and we're the horrible, disappointed, um, wanting to change our children and hurt them in the process parent. We're all of those things at the same time. And that is part of what it means to be human. And that's okay. That doesn't mean that we're not accountable for what hurts we may cause. That doesn't mean that we don't go back and we say to the children in our lives, wow, I really messed that up and I'm sorry and I know that hurt you and I wish I could do that over again or something like that. That doesn't mean that we can't take responsibility for the hurt that we cause. But we also, if we engage in this self-flagellation, in this uh, condemning ourselves, every single time something happens, we will not be able to move forward. That accepting the good and the bad in ourselves is just part of who we are, part of being human. It's part of what happens here with us in those relationships. And we can take it as a learning opportunity, or we can take it as an opportunity to continue to beat ourselves up and not move forward. So you're not perfect. I'm not perfect. We gotta live with that imperfection. We gotta be accountable for it. We gotta own up to it get real about it and move forward and continue to learn as parents.